Time now, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Doctors saying that despite the pandemic, it's essential to schedule your annual mammogram. News Channel 3's Madison Wiles spoke to a, a young local breast cancer survivor just 30 years of age when she was diagnosed and now credits a mammogram with helping save her life. So I was doing a self-exam about a month after my 30th birthday. Patrice Sidhu says she knew something was wrong back in November of 2018. Immediately there was a very visible lump. I was laying down and I could feel it. After feeling that lump on her chest, she came here, Desert Regional's Comprehensive Cancer Center, to get a mammogram. The way that he said it was, unfortunately, it came back positive. And I'm like, okay, well, what does that mean? Positive for what? He was like for breast cancer and immediately it was like the air just got knocked out of me. That shocking news got worse. In December, doctors told her she had stage 2A triple negative breast cancer, a rare and aggressive form. It is the most aggressive type of breast cancer there is. And so she began her fight to live. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're ridiculous. Losing hair, but not hope. Six months of chemo, 33 rounds of radiation, and a partial mastectomy later. There you go. That's it, right? Today, she's in remission, now encouraging others to frequently self-examine and make mammograms a yearly routine. Had I not caught it, if I had waited another six months, I don't know that my prognosis would have been so good. It is very worth it. The imaging nowadays does take less than three minutes. Getting a mammogram today, it's easy, quick, and painless. However, due to the pandemic, fewer patients are coming in than ever. We've had a lot of patients not showing up, not even for examinations or even follow-up appointments. And I know the fear is COVID. Dr. Judy Jackson, a director at the center, says they have new protective measures and protocols in place. We've had not one single patient contract COVID from this facility. Dr. Jackson says cancer won't wait for the pandemic to end. She's urging people to prioritize getting seen. Please come in, help yourself, help your life, help your family. Madison Weil, News Channel 3. And don't let that money or lack of money or health insurance be a reason that you don't get a mammogram. There are resources that can help patients financially in need. Head to our website, KESQ.com, for more details there.